So just take a minute and ask yourself, when was the last time you slept between 6 to 8 hours? When was the last time you had a deep quality sleep and woke up feeling refreshed? If you're someone who struggles to get a good night rest or if you just want to improve on the quality of your sleep, then watch this video through. Sleeping is such a beautiful thing. Unfortunately, with the fast-paced life nowadays, most of us do not give sleep the priority it deserves. Having a good quality rest is known to help manage your appetite and also cravings, which is linked to weight loss and to maintain a healthy weight long term. If you don't get enough rest, it can also sabotage your workout plan because when your body is tired, you are more likely not wanting to do any exercises. And even if you do your workout, your body and your muscles will recover slower. Sleeping is also known to promote better mood, clearer thinking and also better work performance. So getting a good quality rest isn't just about your bedtime routine. How you spend your entire day has a direct impact on your sleep. So I want to be sharing with you my routine, something that has helped me to get a better quality sleep at night. And I hope that it will inspire you to love sleep as much as I do. I like to start my morning and sometimes end my evening with a solid workout. This includes a mixture of strength training, cardio and sometimes even yoga. Exercising 3 to 4 times weekly between 45 to 60 minutes will help to improve the quality of your sleep. But remember to avoid exercising 3 to 4 hours before bedtime because it can actually make it harder for you to fall asleep. Who loves a cup of coffee? I get a lot of my work done from cafes and of course I do enjoy my cup of flat white. However, if I know that it's already late in the afternoon, you know, I'll try to be good and opt for herbal tea instead because I know that my body is more sensitive to caffeine, having coffee after 2pm would only keep me awake the entire night. So if you're just like me, avoid drinking coffee in the afternoon and go for a cup of tea instead. I like to either sip on green tea or chamomile tea. If it has been a long and tiring day, one of my ways to wind down is to soak myself in a warm bath. Just about 2-3 to three hours before bedtime, I'll soak myself for 20-30 to 30 minutes. It helps to relax my muscles and also mine. A cozy soak raises the body temperature slightly and the immediate cool down period afterward relaxes you. This natural drop in body heat will help you to fall asleep quicker. Eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dinner like a pauper. That's a lot of truth in that saying. Make dinner your lightest meal and have an early dinner. As much as I can, I try to have my dinner before 8pm. And of course, I just love my soup and noodles. Having a big or spicy meal at night will put your digestive system hard at work. This may cause heartburn or indigestion, which can keep you awake. If at all you're feeling packaged before bedtime, then just go for a small snack and keep it below 200 calories. Scented oils and candles help me to wind down, breathe better, fall asleep faster and wake up feeling refreshed. The easiest way is to buy fragrant candles. You can also mix in a few drops of essential oil with water and gently mist your pillow before bed. Here's a fun fact. Smells can also influence your dreams, so try out different scents that make you happy, relax and give you a sweet dream. Our body needs time to shift into sleep mode. So one hour before bedtime, put all your electronic devices away. This includes switching off the TV, laptop, iPad and also mobile phones. I am very easily affected by the noise, vibration or even the slightest glow from my phone. So when I want to get a quality rest, I like to put my phone on airplane mode. One of the most common reasons a lot of people can't fall asleep is because of their cluttered mind. So rather than just ignoring it, I choose to write my thoughts down and also a list of things to do the next day. This helps me to put everything into perspective and to clear my mind off my worries. And if there's no reason for me to be up late, I aim to go to bed at about the same time every night, which is just before midnight. 
I even get my friends calling me Cinderella because of my sleeping habit. Developing a sleeping schedule will help to regulate your body's clock and fall asleep easily. You'll also be able to wake up in the morning at about the same time without the help of an alarm clock. So when it's time to go to bed, go for a complete blackout. Even the slightest amount of ambient light may disrupt your sleep and tell your brain that it's time to wake up. So I like to keep my room as dark as possible. If you can't seal up all the light sources in your room, then consider using a comfy eye mask. And if you still find yourself awake, choose to lie in bed in a calm and relaxed position. Release all the tension from your body and breathe deeply for a few rounds to relax the mind and body. You know, as much as we want to aim to get a quality rest at night, remember, don't stress yourself out about it. The more you fight it, the more difficult it is to actually get any rest. So just take the time to understand your body and the triggers that keep you awake at night and slowly work on that. Sleeping is such a beautiful thing. If you find that you're not getting enough rest or if you just want to improve on the quality of your sleep, apply these tips and I hope that in no time you will be sleeping like a baby. So what other method has helped you to get a good night rest? Do let me know in the comments below. If you find this video to be helpful, remember to like it and share it as well. All the best.